Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a sample problem wherein you have to use a concept of parallel lines. Okay, so take note the idea that when two lines are parallel, so when two lines are parallel, the slopes of the lines are the same or equal. So that's the key idea. So the application here is on finding the equation of the line. So there's an equation of the line that passes through 3, negative 2 that is parallel to the line that connects the points negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So let's visualize the problem by plotting the points. So suppose we have the xy plane and we have a point 3, negative 2. So that's 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, so this is the point 3, negative 2. So there is a line passing through this point. Okay, so it can be in this way, it can be in this way, can be in this way. So how will we know? So it says this line or the line that passes through 3, negative 2 is parallel to the line that connects the points negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So we have to see what is the orientation of the line that connect or that is connecting the points negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So the first point is at negative 2, 5. So that's 1, 2, that's negative 2, and then 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the first point, so this is negative 2 and 5. And then the other point is 0, 1. So 0 on the x and then y on the 1. Okay, so the line that connects negative 2, 5, and 0, 1 is this line. So we have this. So there's a line. I'm sorry. So there's a line passing through the points 2 or negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So the line that we need is parallel to this line and is passing through this point 3, negative 2. So the line that we need or the one that we have to find the equation is the line that is passing through 3, negative 2 and is parallel. So they have the same orientation in this direction. So how do we find the equation of this line? So the solution will rely on the idea of parallel lines. The slopes are the same. So take note that when we, whenever you want to find the equation of a line, we can start with... Um, you can start with y equals mx plus b. So say you have y equals mx plus b. So this will be the equation of the line. So in this uh, equation, we know that we need to find the value of m. But since the line that we need is parallel to a given line, then the slope of the line that we need should be the same with the slope of the line connecting negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So we have to find the slope of the line connecting negative 2, 5, and 0, 1. So we all know that to find the slope, we subtract the y and then divide it by the difference of the x. So in this case, we have 5 minus 1 and negative 2 minus 0, or 4 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 2. So the, the slope of this line is negative 2. Therefore, since the line that we need is parallel to this given line, then the slope that we need is also 2. Okay? So, we were able to transform this equation into y equals 2x plus b because we already know that the slope is 2 based from the relationship of these two lines. Now, how do we find the value b? So, take note that the line is passing through the point 3, negative 2. Whenever a line passes through a point, that means this can serve as the value of x and the y of the line. So if I have y equals 2x plus b, 3 can be x, so whenever 3 is x, then the y value is equal to negative 2. So as you can see, we are using the point 3, negative 2 because the line that we need passes through 3, negative 2. So that means when x is 3, so this is 3, the y value is equal to negative 2. When you solve this equation, you will be 
getting the value b. So this is negative 2 equals 6 plus b and b will be equal to negative 2 minus 6. So the value of b is equal to negative 8. Therefore, from y equals 2x plus b, the equation now is transformed into y equals 2x minus 8 because the slope is 2 and the b is negative 8. So you see, we are already connecting a lot of different ideas, but you have to rely on the main concept that has to be applied in this problem. The key here is to always identify what is the main relationship that should be um, applied in this problem. So basically, we are talking about parallel lines. So whenever we have two parallel lines, the slopes are the same. And if the task is to find the equation of the line, then that means you have to rely on y equals n x plus p. And then the next task is for you to find what is m and what is b based on the relationship that is given in the problem. If two lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. So we obtain m by getting the slope of the other line because the slopes will be or are the same. And then to find the b, if the line passes through a given point, you can always use those uh, the, the values of x and y in that point as a value for the x and y in the equation. And with that, you'll be able to find the value b. And after finding m and b, then you can already write the equation of the line. Okay, so that's it.